Hello and welcome to uh, Emulus Creative's page. I am the owner, Chase Webster. Uh, for you know, we got a lot going on with the company, so I wanted to start off and just quickly say thank you for everyone who helped nominate us to be up for one of the six finalists for the best marketing and events company here in our area, the Mobile Baldwin County area. Uh, because of what's all happening, and we've got a lot of pans in the fire, so to speak, we decided to, to kind of sit down and have this kind of interview to kind of bring about what's going on. So I'm happy to be here. I've got a great contractor who has worked with me many, many times in the past. Josh Dunn, he's going to come in and kind of play host and interview me, pick my brain, so we can give y'all, the viewers, or anyone who's finding the page because of the Nappy nomination, a little bit of insight of who Emulus is and, you know, what we can do for you. So, without further ado, hey, Josh. Hey, Chase. Uh, yeah, my name is Josh, and I work... Um... My side job is with Webski. I've been doing some contracting work with Chase re past, what, two or three years? Something and like that, yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. So, yeah, I just want to come on here, and it's been exciting for Chase to be nominated for this and just run through a few questions with you. Yeah. Well, we'll just jump right into it. Perfect. So it's kind of hard picking some questions because I know, like, I know a good bit about your company and all that good stuff, but I want to try to cover... Kind of different areas. And one thing I don't know too much about is when you first started Emulus Creative. It was eight years ago, right? Yeah, on June 12th. Okay. 2012. Ooh. So when you first started that, did you think you'd be in this position today? Would you be nominated for a nappy and, you know, just doing everything you're doing? No, I didn't think I was going to be a marketing agency eight years ago. I, um, I graduated from the University of South Alabama with te telecommunication and film. So my focus was video. And I graduated in 2011, December 2011. So within six months, you know, I'd already worked. I just kind of did freelance. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make a full gig of this. Because I didn't want to do news or, you know, I didn't want to work with the news agency. I didn't want to do broadcast journalism or anything like that. I wanted, I like creating videos. And I like little stories. So I focused on video. And because of that, I also eventually grew into learning photography, which was second nature to video work because I do a lot of my shooting manually. Uh, it makes it harder on me. But I think there is more control to be had from a manual con you know, camera than you do from automatic one thing that most people see is the focus. Sometimes your focus on an automatic will chase a butterfly in the background and your, your subject matter is left behind. So uh, eight years ago, I was a production. It was endless productions and multimedia was still is the company. We're doing a DBA. We do business as endless creative now because over the years I've joined up, you know, I've, kept Emulus on the side and worked with other uh, marketing agencies, grew in those, became a uh, creative director, and then decided to go back on my own again because the way I did things was a little bit more unique than what was normally done in the setting. So I decided to really dive back into Emulus, and that was three years ago, four years ago, something like that. So you moved over to the DBA four years ago? Some, I believe so. I, you know, that's one thing I have to go down and sit. I think it was right, four yeah. years ago. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, now I offer video production, audio production, photography, copywriting, graphic design, and we take those content marketing topics like that and we apply them into digital marketing, which is website, web design, uh, you know, ads on Google, ads on different websites, email marketing, text marketing. And we also do social media. And I, I don't feel like I need to explain what social media is. I think everyone knows what that is. Um, but the reason I do my business this way is simply because it allows me to provide my clients with a very unique uh, viewpoint. It, it gives us a chance to create your content, 
and control your look and feel. So you're not just getting a template. You're not just getting the run of the mill. You're going to be different and your message is going to stand apart from everyone else because it's not a cookie cutter recipe. We may take a template, but we're going to change it drastically, make sure it matches your branding. And by combining both the digital marketing and social media platforms, we get so much more out of, out of your marketing budget and we can go into deeper, uh, much, much deeper strategies. Yeah. And that's something that I think is often overlooked and it's exciting to see you took like your start in film and production and turned it into something that's a lot, a lot more involved, a lot more detailed and pretty much essentially full servicing. I guess probably the good way to put it um, for everyone's kind of marketing needs around here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, been a wild ride uh, I, I bet. so yeah to sum up your question i never thought never thought uh eight years ago that i would be here running a advertising agency and what's what's funny is it can change a lot more in a month or so because <laughs> like we mentioned earlier the nappies are happening the voting for that's going on and so just and can you sum up in general like what it mean like what it meant to you and the company to be nominated for an app in the first place you're nominated for the best marketing agency one of six and just yeah kind of explain to us what it feels like to be a business owner of someone that's been you know led by your peers and you know voted on and nominated and yeah so loaded question uh <laughs> that's so, all i have i have a bunch of loaded questions <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so to break it down, I don't know how to describe what it feels like to be nominated. It's right. My goal for my business is to become a very large agency, but in order to do that in a healthy way and in a way that promotes our own community, instead of just hiring out or outsourcing a bunch of my work to you know online sites like Fiverr, which I usually that's always a last resort for me if, and I have never had to resort to that. Thankfully, uh, nothing wrong with it. Just my standards are a little bit higher than what Fiverr provides for most of the time. Right. Um, what allows me to do is reach out to members of the community like Josh and find these individuals who perform the service and do a great job. But you know, Josh, you don't necessarily have the time you've got a full-time job and, you don't necessarily have the time or the desire to go out there and try and drum up more work for yourself. You don't, you're not always looking for a way to, you know, find your next lead. You, you just right. want to do your job. You just want to have an order and fill it. And I, I think that can be very challenging for you. Like someone that owns a company and a company that's been going strong for eight years and they build a certain level of like brand within your company, a certain level, like a certain tone, how you, at, interact with your clients, get your projects done. I feel like it's pretty challenging to find people as a, when you look for contractors that kind of embody the same thing that Amos Creative does. How have you approached that in the past? Uh, easy. I just, I look for two things. I look for work ethic and I look for quality of work. Yeah. Uh, I'm not looking for people who can just pump and dump. I don't want volume. I want quality. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's what the client wants as well. They, Someone who has a good at work ethic and knows what they're doing and can do it well will be able to produce a lot of work if push comes to it. But uh, haste makes waste, I guess, is the best way to put it. So we're rush jobs happen, but we're not looking to just put out numbers. This is not, you know, I've heard people say, num you know, dating is like a numbers game. It is not dating. This is not fishing. This this is people's livelihood and it needs to be treated with respect. And that's what I look for. I look for people who understand how to communicate and be respectful. And that shows up, like I said, by them being driven workers and providing a quality product or service. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because you like look at the clients you work with in the past and currently working with like what they do in a day to day, -to -day job is a labor of love. So they probably want the same thing from their marketing agency. And in turn, your contractors is they want like you need to be you need to almost care as much as their company as well, as much as you need to care as much as 
they do about their company. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think the easiest way to put it is the contractors need to be able to um, be proud of the work they're doing. Yes. And that's, that's my goal is when I bring a piece to a contractor, I hope that it's another piece that they're very excited and proud to add to their personal, um, no, I want to make sure that they can add it to their personal portfolio. And in turn, hopefully, you know, come on board full time down the road. Cause you know, like you said earlier, large agency is kind of what you're after and you're knocking through the steps to get there. Mm hmm. Yeah. So putting the nappies aside to, for a little bit, I know we, we both know we're both live in this area. It's a very tight knit community. And you, I know you've done a bunch of uh, nonprofit charitable work in the past through Emulus. How can Emulus currently, with everything going on and outside of that, how can y'all like impact the community and kind of get involved? Um, to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. It's just, I'm I'm not out there. I'm not giving away big money. I I hate to say it. I'm kind of one of the better kept secrets of the area for marketing and. You know, it's, it's, I need to practice what I preach when it comes to this kind of uh, terms, because one thing I do is I spend more time focusing on my clients, focusing on the quality of work for them. And I spend very little time on myself. And I've even, you know, someone was asking if I could help them get reviews. And I said, yeah. And I walked through the different ways of getting reviews. And he went and looked at my Facebook and my website and goes, you don't have any reviews yourself. And I was like, well, you're right. Cause I, that's on me. I fail to come continues to ask because most of the things I do, there are, you know, contract jobs and then there's nonprofit jobs like you're talking about. And then, uh, you know, when I can give away a free package, I do. Uh, and I usually it's about at least one nonprofit per year. I make sure that I give them a, a full suite kind of deal. Uh, and I do that pro bono, pro bono. It sucks because tax wise, I get nothing. So when I do these free jobs for these people, it is literally time out of my own life right. that I sacrifice to give people. Um, but really, that's the only way I know to do it is our community just needs members of the community to stand up and help. And uh, the only I bring my gifts, I bring the ability to find your message and share it in a way that garners attention for your cause or your organization and helps you give you a platform to stand on so that when you need to, you know, as a nonprofit, when you need to ask for funds, it's not like, well, who are they and why should we care kind of thing? It's, it gives you the ability to answer those questions right, in an engaging way. And it's something to me that like it's a certain level of not really like it's not a matter of you'll scratch their back, they'll scratch your just more of kind of just, you know, you know what you know what they need and like them getting what they need business wise and marketing wise is going to help the community like tenfold. So it's exciting to yeah. see you kind of realize that need and move forward in all your different service areas to get that done. Yeah, I've been like I said in the past, I've been part of a. Uh organizations and we've done nonprofit stuff and you know i see like the sales guys get so upset when they don't get recognition for things and it's just like well why are you doing this are you doing this solely for the recognition if you are then you just need to stroke the checkout and get your name on that whatever tier you want to be on instead of us offering so if we're right. giving two thousand dollars worth of time you know just write a check for two thousand dollars and let's get the two thousand dollars somewhere else yeah. but if you want to give them this and th this is my principle, and this is what I carry with me when I do nonprofit work for people. If I'm doing a job for free, I'm doing it to help you. I'm not doing it to help me. I'm not doing it for my own sake or for my own reputation. I'm doing it because there's a need in the community that has to be met. And if someone doesn't do it, then, you know, we're talking about maybe a food shelter doesn't get that extra can of food for a family. Uh, maybe a community center doesn't get the extra funding and has to shut down a program it's for some people this is all they have right and it's 
important. And, you know, if they don't know I'm the person who maybe helped get the organization twenty thousand dollars, who cares? As long I as mean, they have what they need. Right, exactly. And like I think that sense of like that like call for action in the community is something that the nappies kind of embodies because without the like without our community and the people that live here, the nappies essentially maybe, you know, wouldn't really have much of a foothold. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um and so with that regard, like if you were to win the nappies, so this is something that, you know, you've been working towards, working towards. And, you know, like everyone that's nominated for something, there's always, you know, you do believe you're going to win. And if you were to win, what would that do for yourself, your family, your company? How would it all, how would it feel? I don't know. And I don't think I will know. Um, I honestly don't believe I will win. Um, I'm very skeptical of myself and very hard on myself and hard on the work that I produce. Uh, I always believe I can do better. And I guess that's one of the drives that keeps pushing me forward and those put me in a position to be nominated. Um, but I would love, I'm not gonna lie. I would love to win. I would love, we just brought our three week old daughter home. This is our first child. So it, to me, this would be a very, uh, refreshing and very rewarding kind of start to this family for me. Yeah. Uh, it would help paint the picture of down the road it is possible to do what you want to do. It is possible to chase your dreams if you want to. Uh, and it, it gives it a way of, it doesn't sugarcoat it either. It, it does show that it does take a lot of hard work to get to that point. But Eight if years. you put the time in and do the work right and you do it for the right reasons, uh, profit will follow. Profit to me is not a, um, not a goal. It's a byproduct of success. Right. And, you know, it's hard to identify what success is because everyone has a different definition. That's what makes marketing so interesting to me. But um, I think winning the nappy would be an amazing roller coaster of emotion because it's, you know, the company has gone ahead. I've, you know, like every company, we've had ups and downs. And, you know, it's, it's very stressful. And there was a time right for when we knew uh, Carrie Ann was a pregnant wife. I wanted to, um, I was looking for a job because I was, I wanted to just be able to support my family, whichever way is possible. And I, you know, one of my thoughts was if I could just have a stable job and make a stable income, I'll have more family time. Right. Um, but, uh, I guess, thank God nothing panned out. I had some very fruitful interviews, but there's just always someone who was just, they felt was better than for the me, but, at the, you know, at the end of the day, my skill set is kind of an overarching, bring a bunch of ideas together and help run campaigns and strategy, not so much do a specific job, unless that specific job's like video production, which I can do with my eyes closed. Right. But, um, you know, if I were to win the nappies, I think it'd be a great networking event. It'd be a great opportunity for me to hopefully find some more clients who can help pay the bills so I can find more clients who need help paying the bills. Yep. Exactly. Um, and it also gives me a chance. So, you know, one thing I'm looking for right now is to build my team while I want to continue reaching out to our community, finding our skilled individuals who are out there doing freelance work, doing contract work. I don't necessarily need people working in house for me. I, I don't care. As long as they do the job and get it done right, you know, I'd be happy to just constantly call them on the contact or, you know, down the road if they wanted to just not worry about finding the leads and being the guaranteed person gets the work. We could hire them as long as the work's coming in. But my biggest push right now is I'd love to find success in the with a nappy win and uh, meet a salesperson who's just as driven in sales as I am in providing the quality product. And that way we can continue to outreach more into the community and give more back as we get receive more. Awesome. Well, I'm excited for you. Um, that's kind of Thank all of my hard hitting questions and I look forward to seeing what the next few weeks bring. Um, go ahead, I guess maybe cover how you can vote when voting ends and yeah, that's it for me. Appreciate you having me on and kind of interviewing the, the guy. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking time. I know you've got a lot going on. And, Absolutely, man. Happy to do it. And 
you know, we're very excited for Josh. He and his fiance will finally tie the knot. Yeah. After being <laughs> pushed back. Talk uh, about a challenge. Here, here in July. <laughs> Yeah. Overcoming adversity before the marriage even starts. That's <laughs> that's something to be proud of. Good skills to gain. Appreciate it. <laughs> but thank you, Josh. And I'll, yeah, I will give uh, links in the description in the chat as well to how to vote. I'll have the direct link to me. And, uh, you know, Josh, I'll, I'll cut you free and do a little housekeeping just for people to understand what exactly MS is and what we can offer and how you can get a hold of us if you're interested in seeing what we can do for you. Will do. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching, Chase. Appreciate it, and have a good one. Thank you, Josh. So, uh, like I said, Emulus Creative is a digital marketing agency. You heard a lot from what Josh was sharing with me, asking me and how I was sharing with him. Um, so, if you want to get a hold of us, you can go to emuluscreative.com, E-M-U-L-O-U-S-C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. -E. Sorry, I said that real fast. I will also have that link in the description and the uh, chat. Uh, we cover a wide range. I'm sure you've heard you heard me mention at the beginning. I'll just kind of summarize it again. Content marketing, which is anything you see or hear regarding your advertising efforts. And we do advertising in social media. So we do uh, digital and social media. Uh, I have dabbled with traditional. I will do traditional if we need to, but I have a great organization I reach out to to do those media buys. A uh, very skilled individual, a Khalifi, Chris Khalifi with the Khalifi Media Group. He does a great job with those media buys and someone I trust wholeheartedly to uh, carry on the ideas I have, make sure that the client's taken care of, make sure that you get what you need and we're, allowed, we're able to move forward in a progressive way to make sure your company gets the attention you deserve. Uh, the nappy vote, like I said, you can go to votenappies.com and there you can find, a. we're, you know, I think we are in the media section. You scroll down for media, find best marketing slash event company and Immunus creative will be the first one on the list because alphabetically we're at the top. Uh, I like to believe that not only we're the top alphabetically, but also because we're just that great but uh one of six is a great honor uh thank you very much for everyone who's dominated us we it's been a lot of work it's been a lot of uh long nights for me personally and I, i'm very honored to have been nominated please feel free to reach out you can use contact us on facebook we have an instagram email me cbwebster at emuluscreative.com or uh check out our website either way uh, thank you, everyone, for coming in and being with us today, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I'm here if you have any questions.